I don't get it. And see, normally that wouldn't be a deal breaker. Oh, 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 because I can't get things? I got that that was a dig, you dick. But I think, Frankie, what you have on your hands here is not a joke. It's more of a rambling story with some political sound bites thrown in. Shoehorned in? Me too. Hey, the Me Too movement is integral to the story, guys. No, no, I meant I think that too. I think what he thinks, uh, you're not funny and you should give up on comedy. And comedy is a sin. Well, no, I didn't say all that. But you implied it and with humor, which, as I said, is a sin. So honestly, I'm in a bit of a moral pickle, which, if you think about it, implies a sentient pickle, which is also a sin. Fudge the veggie tails, they are the dildos of Satan. Oh, and lastly, Frankie, what was that bit with the orca? Why would an orca drive a car? Artistic license. But no one's ever heard of the Buggles. There's gonna be like one person in 10,000 that gets a the Buggles reference, and they're probably a huge loser. Well, you got it. It's just a bad routine. I'm sorry. No. No, you guys just can't tell how funny I am because we're siblings, you know? It's kind of like how when you hear your sibling's voice on a recording, you automatically think that I'm not funny. It's kind of like that. Right, but the orca would dry out and die, is my point. Whales are doomed, Flip. Get over it. Even faster, if it want a convertible. Also, that's not true. We both think you're hilarious. Just not when you try to be. Like a laughing stuff. Remember when you put ayahuasca in Miss Winnington's coffee? She threw up had a spirit vision, and went into a coma for two days. Well, if I had known she was a diabetic, I wouldn't have put so much goddamn cupcake frosting creamer to disguise the telltale ayahuasca taste. Plus, I'm sorry, but the spirit vision really turned her life around, so I refuse to apologize because, in a way, I am a hero. She welds steelwork art of Disney characters and sells them at desert trailer parks. Exactly! So much more meaningful than teaching. That's true. I'm a teacher. That's true. And, uh... Whose retirement opened up the very same teaching position you now fill? Mrs. Whittington. Ipso facto, I'm a hilarious stand-up comedian going on two and a half open mic nights and counting. And a half? Yeah, one time I got scared and left halfway through. Did you know that beta blockers will stop you from shaking, but they won't stop you from imagining the audience as your disapproving parents holding sniper rifles? You remember when you put x lax into Mrs. Whittington's coffee? And she pooped also while she was in her coma. What's hilarious. <laughs> and therefore a very grave sin. Maybe I do owe her an apology. You put x lax in my 10th birthday cake. I never got an apology. And you won't. That was justified retaliation for you ruining my favorite George. I accidentally bled on them. I bleed easily. And then you made me poop in Spider-Man's lap. Well, what birthday party Spider-Man has the kids get in his lap anyway? He's not Santa. It's pretty dang weird if you ask me. That is weird. I don't want to know what kind of webs he's packing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe go stop Dr. Octopus instead of rubbing your Stan Lee cameo up against my kid, guy. <laughs> Fucking serve you right if you got a lap full of diarrhea. Uh, you want a real challenge, Spider-Man? <gasps> well, meet your greatest foe. A costume rental replacement fee on a grad student's salary. It's funny because it's blasphemy. Actually... Yeah, see, that's better. It's a funny story, some solid punchlines at the end. Right, but that wasn't stand-up. I was just talking. That's all comedy is. It's nothing. Comedians are idiots, and everyone just laughs at them so they don't spiral out and kill themselves. Huh. Yeah. I can use that. I mean, I still don't think you should pursue stand-up. I agree. See, like, even when you are funny, you're not funny like I would say that's funny. Uh, I just laugh a lot. You know, but you're still my sister, so give up. Yeah, that's just because you two are a terrible audience. A teacher and a preacher? See? Rhyming. Rhyming is funny and it doesn't hurt anyone. I rest my case. Trust me, the last audience I did, the orca and the convertible bit, was rolling in the aisle. Of course, I may have spiked their beers with some ecstasy before the set, so that might have had something to do with it. Frankie, you have a serious problem with putting drugs in things. I know. As a drug dealer, it really cuts into my bottom line, but what are you going to do? I'm just a really giving person like that. Give me your portion of the inheritance. Nice try. I'm high, but I'm not that high. Damn. You're high? Just on beta blockers. Oh, that's not yep. so... Yep, snorted a fistful of beta blockers. No idea what it'll do. 
Starting to look a lot like mom and dad. That's genetic. Can sniper rifles fire through the internet? All right. I think we better wrap up and let Frankie have a nap, huh? Fine. We're over time anyway. Good luck at the next open mic, Frankie. They're laughing. They're all laughing for me.